a new day, a new project, you see my AB IoT 868 is gone. Why? I don't know. Anyway, everything was fine. Now what's happening? It's not transmitting anymore. So usually when I have my nano VNA connected like that, you know, and sending a CV frequency of A68 megahertz, I should have a very clear blue LED, meaning it's transmitting. Not anymore. You see? Down here. Even if I twist the potentiometer, in any position nothing happens nothing nothing so this one used to blink to blue absolutely nothing happens so i know i have a very clear 868 megahertz there if i'm uh, getting this on the minor side same story nothing and i observed that because my beacons disappeared but in the same time the amplification it's working very good. Let me open first. Maybe we can see something obvious there. This goes much faster and easier than soldering and desoldering. Okay. But I think now I have to use my soldering iron. So far, I don't see anything wrong here. Doesn't smell like burnt anything. Everything looks so good, so fine. Okay. So... I suspect a static lightning or something like this, but it's funny because the amplification is still working, you know, the air is, is still working and this is great. Okay, so it's nothing obvious here. I'm going to the next step of uh, the project. You see, I have this capacitor here. I have to take it off and to insert a so filter it will be a very simple mood air station it's a need so my air station on 400 degrees with uh, air at four and a half yeah that should be enough okay the capacitor it's out you see the bad point is that I don't know anything about these parts but I think this is a um, RF amplifier and this one too AZ this is a switch and this one is a switch too you know switching the antenna from uh, TX to Eric solid state relays let's call it now let me prepare the, the place for the so filter so these are perfect here and this is perfect too because it's ground but I need also a ground connection down here so let me let me do that I'm taking out the paint the mask yeah there we are now uh, I have to use my soldering gun flux like always just a tiny soldering cover and here too the other side when you install a saw filter you have to be sure that all the ground pins are soldered it's a must okay we are very good here let me have a saw filter it's a brand new one we need to prepare this for soldering like that flux and soldering wire perfect and you see here one of these pins longer that is a ground pin and here this is number two goes to the input you see there's the pin and we have number two there let me have the filter in place like that that's the right position hot air I think it's okay. Oh yes, it's looking good. There's a single way to find out. Okay, nano VNA input. Output. And if everything is fine, now we should have a really nice bell shape on 
nano VNA display, okay? Stay there. And there we are, good people. This is a perfect amplifier. And the numbers are marvelous. So we have minus 7.23 dB. Right, so what do you think? Is there any life after that? Yes, it is. No more takes, but I can use that like a very good low noise amplifier with a perfect signal gain. Let's see about the gain. So first we had minus 21.27. This is the signal from input to output through the adapter, all right? And after the sow, filter planted, okay, we had a minus 7.23. So now, 21.76 minus 7.23. And we have an amazing 14.53 dB amplification gain. This is marvelous. I think it's more than enough. But the point is, I still have something to check. It's in my mind. You see, we have this potentiometer here. That was for TX, for TX, and it's very clear. But in the same time, we have another, another potentiometer in here, a small one. Let's see, does that got anything to do with uh, the amplification? Can we uh, change anything? When we move that one, hmm? and in the meantime, okay, we'll talk about this in a in a second. Check the screen. No, I don't see any any kind of uh, moving. So um, let's say we bet on minus eight, starting with eight hundred and fifty nine, eight hundred and sixty megahertz, and goes a little down 866 869 and this is the end 871 500 but here um, in this place at 862 we have minus 6.63 even better anyway it's a perfect shape and it's exactly what i was looking for i can still use the amplifier this is nice of course no takes i'm sorry for that in the meantime i was thinking uh, what can cause this uh, non uh, tx problem uh maybe it's uh, lighting or static like i said before but i also consider and you should do the same how is this going like that we have to do a little modification here okay some more Look here, perfect. <laughs> what I was trying to say that it can be also a power leaking. So what is that a power leaking? You now from the power supply to the ground. I have a tutorial about that up in the uh, in the corner. Just give a look at that one. What is my multimeter? Oh, there you are. Okay, so let's have this guy on volts, AC, and let me have my power supply, the one I'm using for, uh, the one I'm using for powering this amplifier, and I don't know if you can see that, but I'm touching them, oh come on. Yeah, this is better. So I have a ground here on my sound card and look there, 2.2 volts AC. But now it's better, now it's good because I did some modification to this power supply and it's okay. But let me check the power supply for my soldering iron, okay? This is ground and 
ground here and look there 5.80 5.91 something volts and this is good but i can tell you that i met situation when the the power leaking was much much higher and uh, you you can even feel it with your finger and uh, you can imagine what that means for a device for an electronic device like this. this that's disaster before planting the amplifier in the attic let's take a look at uh, the activity in the last uh, 10 days or something clear look about I'm having only the antenna starting with 22nd of April. So these are the numbers here. All right. That's for uh, Ocean Caster. Yes, 20 kilometers away. Another caster here closer, 6 kilometers or something. With only the antenna. It's pretty okay. You see the test before in March with the antenna only. There was no beacons. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't read this hotspot. But look here pretty active these are the numbers here so let's take a look at this because then we have compare this with uh, the new ones tiger antenna only but look here this is antenna only but look at the numbers here and the numbers before only with antenna strange I don't know the point is that I took down the cable and I clean it and all the connectors maybe that that's a explanation rabbi finch this is a new one antenna only mr bull one million beacon minus 140 very good i mean uh, i'm surprised about these numbers antenna amplifier on antenna only nothing but look here antenna only and we got signals we got beacons okay some others pike Invalid, Raven, Antenna only. Okay, these are the numbers before. So, can you imagine this? It's, a, it's the same antenna and it's the same cable and the same connectors and everything. But look here, much better signal. The second antenna only test. No, it's looking like Tapir, you see? The numbers went up with 10 dB at least. I don't know the explanation. Maybe it was something wrong with the connections there. Same story. Okay. Baboon. Minus 90. And look here. Minus 1 to 3, minus 1, 1, 4. At least, at least uh, 20 dB more. Amazing. So, like advice, a piece of advice, check your cable and check your connectors. Look at this. I see. Same story. One to six, one, one, two. Amazing. Tuna. Much better. Antenna, antenna. Okay. I show you these numbers because starting with tomorrow, we're going to have a compare with the AB amplifier on RX only. Filtered AB with the filter on board. Okay. Do we have some more? Rock, Rook, Rook, 27th of April. Okay. Old. Nothing with antenna only before, but I got now these numbers here. Very good numbers. I mean, very sensible. Amazing. Minus 85. Nothing there before. Bobcat. I don't know if you have enough patience to follow these numbers, but they are a history. I really mean that, you know, history of reception and distances and signals and so on. They are very clear. The numbers never lie. Uh, antenna only nothing. The first test, it was in March. And look here, we got something. We got one. I can tell you, same antenna, same spot, same high same cable absolutely the same but so different i'm amazed 114 the best one in this week was minus 114 and look here minus 108 minus 106 very good i can't wait to see the first results with the amplifier 
Okay, that's a new one. Mule, chipmunk, 22nd of April. A new one. Third degrade, 27th of April here. Okay, let's write it down here. Antenna. Antenna only test two. Amplifier on. Nothing here in March, but we got a beacon. Okay, save please. Duck. Okay, antenna, let me write it down here too. Antenna only test two. All right, minus one, one, three. And look the numbers here. Okay, that's it. Uh, I, th I, th I think we are okay for now. Like I said, okay, these are older. Very clear. Yeah, can't wait to have the results. Starting with tomorrow, it's uh, Tuesday, and we'll see the numbers after one week. Next Tuesday in, let me see. Uh, okay, tomorrow it's 3rd of May. Okay, on 10th of May. Yeah. Okay, guys, I think that was all for today. A simple modification can bring a new life to a semi or a half dead amplifier. I got no more takes on this one. I was trying all the tricks, nothing happens, but I'm happy. At least I can use it for a low amplifier, uh, low signal amplifier, and this is great. Thank you for now. Please like, please subscribe, and don't forget to have fun. See you soon. Bye bye.